Hey everybody, so today I'm going to work on building uh, our dock. I have six sections to build, four by ten foot sections, all out of cedar. You can see all the cedar behind me. Um, so I've started out with, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, a template on the floor just to keep everything square. So I have it all marked out and squared out. I'm going to try to make all my cuts first, at least on the first one, and get all it all laid out, um, get it built, and then if that one goes well, go ahead and mass produce all the rest of the parts. So I'll uh, do some time lapse so you can see how it goes. The plans are then get all this built, then uh, get it sealed up, and then haul it up to Michigan in April. So I uh, hope you enjoy it, and we'll see how it goes today. So as you can see, I got the uh, first frame done. Uh, went together pretty much just like I expected. Uh, um, using these uh, three inch stainless steel screws, along with the cedar, they went in really well. Just had to pre-drill. Um, the plans are then gonna put the decking on with uh, some camo screws so they'll be hidden. So I'll show that once I get to uh, get to that part. I'm going to go ahead and off camera build, cut and build the uh, other five frames. So I'll get that done and then I'll come back when I uh, get ready to do some decking and show you guys that. Uh, the evening I thought I'd come out and see if I can get some of the deck boards cut. Um, as I showed you last time, uh, the uh, frames are all done here. So all six of those are done. And I have a stack of, uh, see it back there, 60. Um, 60 deck boards I need to cut down to uh, four foot each. So I have my chop saw set up. I set up a jig last night so it would go a lot quicker. So I'm going to start uh, doing some cuts here before it gets too dark and uh, go from there. So there you have it. I'm all done. Got everything all cut up. Smells awesome. I love the smell of uh, cedar when you're cutting it. Um, the deck boards are actually, it's called incense cedar. It's a little bit cheaper than western red cedar. And I believe it's a faster growing species that uh, <clears throat> that does really well around water. So it's going to be good for the dock application. The um, frame itself is made out of western red cedar. Um, that's the only uh, wood they had for dimensional lumber. So um, that's what I used. So I'm anxious to get the deck boards put on. I'm going to start decking later on this week, so um, I'll bring you guys along as I do that. And then uh, after that, we're going to get it uh, sealed up with a clear coat and then haul it up to Michigan in April. So it's a cold, snowy day. I'm out in the garage. I've got the, uh, the heater hooked up, trying to get it warm out here. I started the other night putting some of the, uh, some of the boards in. Um, like I showed you earlier, I'm using uh, this... Uh, camo marksman edge tool. We'll see over here The hooks on the drill um, Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm happy with it. You can see uh, a couple of the boards here actually split out and uh, I think it's going in a little too low. I'm not sure if it's because of the uh, The radius on these boards doesn't match unnecessarily uh, um, Some other standard boards, so I'm gonna try modifying a little bit and uh, see maybe if I put a shim here and space this up a little bit if it'll get the uh, get the screw to go in a little higher so we don't split out so I'm gonna try that and then uh, go ahead and get rolling on uh, at least get one of these done and kind of see how it looks you see the spacing I'm putting them uh, every six inches on center um, just leave a nice gap uh, you see here on this first row big a gap just so any water can uh, go through snow and ice can uh, also go through so I'll uh, shoot some video of me uh, putting this first one together and see how it goes
Okay, one down, five more to go. Um, as far as the uh, the camo marksman tool, um, purely operator error on my part. Um, once I started, uh, you have to be really careful. So the screw drops in here, but there's not a magnet or anything to hold it in place. So when you flip it over, you have to make sure that this edge here is really lined flush with the wood and the screw isn't sticking down and bites early. So once I took care of that, um, you can see uh, the L went in really nice. So I think it gives it a nice clean look. No screws really from the top to, to cut your feet on or anything. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the first one. Uh, the other five should go a little bit easier now that I know what I'm doing. So I will not bore you with doing all the rest of those, um, but I will show you when I'm done. We'll uh, see what it looks like, and hopefully I can get that done this weekend. And then it's supposed to warm up this week, and I can uh, get some sealer put on it, and then it should be ready to go.